Hi, old beaver! Away! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. It's that time of year again. Almost Easter. The best holiday of the year. We don't talk about Christmas here. Uh, today, we are casting for TF Connect, and we are supporting special effect. You can see info about that on the bottom left of how far we are. We have a donation goal of $1,500, uh, and I really do hope you all help us get through there. Uh, today, I'm joined by two wonderful, legendary people. Uh, first off, we've got Agro. Well, hello. And we have Eckstein. Yeah. Ow. I think he uh, beat me. <laughs> Sorry. Talk, talk about intros. Come on. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think anyone could beat that. Dear Lord. Absolutely legendary. So, how are you gents doing today? Excellent. I mean, I'm okay. Just okay. Just okay. Don't worry about it. I'm a little uh, bit excited, to be fairly honest. I mean, I, I was going through the the checklist of like who it is that we've got, to, like uh, that we're going to be commentating on during their games, and I realised there were some absolute selling legends in here, uh, and I, I'm massively unprepared for this. I know this has been on the cards for so many weeks, and you've been nah. so hyped about it, but I'm I'm there. Oh no, no it's just another thing, it's just another thing. And like, I know, I don't we're know. Here is 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 it, it's, here. It's, it's so real. <laughs> All these people are here. Oh. All right, uh, who we got playing first? Let me just quickly check that. Okay. All right, so just so that people know, this is Highlander. This is pure Highlander. This is competition at its highest level. I mean, all of the the UGC ETF two Ls, all of the um, all, all of players around the world IGL, they all they all aspire towards this level of competitive play. Um, so now that we've got that like uh, in the bank. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about the, the teams and the players we're going to be seeing. I, I know that there's there's two teams that are kind of uh, in the position of readying up for us at the moment. I'm just trying to stall over and find hey, their names. I got it. I got it pulled up for us. I'll give us the quick rundown. I'm just gonna Ooh. I'm just gonna roll through the 18 players because apparently this match might start kind of soon as Do well. It. For the cold blooded croakers on scout, it's gonna be Polly Brow. Soldier is gonna be Game Pan. The pyro will be a Lank. And on the demo night position will be a solar light demo night TF2. Heavy will be played by Portal God. Engineer held down by Marine Day. The team captain on Medic. Shork on Sniper. And Vortex 1, 2, 3 on Spy. That team, Cold Blooded Croakers, is going to be up against the Shining Sombreros with their scout being Pyro Joe. Soldier played by Benny. Chloe Mew leading the team from Pyro position. Demo Man played by Mr. Mortensen. Heavy is Sergeant Pinecone. Engineer played by Sir Duck. And Peter Scrap stepping in as the medic. Nyanzak as Sniper. And Versity TF as the spy. Is that really how you say Nyanzak? That's how I say Nyan. It's close enough. I mean, no, you, no one how, truly how knows how, how do you say, say it. it? I don't know. I've always sort of put, uh, <laughs> emphasized the Ian. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's hear you do better, Agro. Come no, on. No, I, I tell you what, you'll hear me do better during the actual <laughs> casting. Well, I'll, I'll fumble every I'm single sure name. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Thank you for that. The name that I'm really excited <laughs> to be able to watch today is Polly Brow. I watched some of the videos in the in the lead up to this, um, and, and that's the that's a, a scout uh, expertise uh, that we're going to see some incredible mm -hmm. plays from. Yeah, yeah, I definitely got some names in there. Some people that I follow on Twitter, you know. I'm not. I'll, I'll confess that I'm not like super busy on the the YouTube TF2s. Um, I like them tournament matches, and I don't watch too much besides that. But at the same time, you know, become friends with these people just throughout the community. I'm excited to see th things happen here. And this is Pro Lakeside as we are getting underway right uh, away. The the bathhouse um, has been minimized. There is no bath. It is now just a sandbox. And team's heading there uh, oh, right away to uh, <laughs> try to uh, fight it out here. We'll see how things break down. Yeah, I'm wondering whether or not there was a little bit of a cat kitty litter experience in in, uh, in sandbox. <laughs> and it just kind of overfilled. If they run through it too hard, they'll, they'll find some food. Yeah, just Quite don't take a little... And speaking, I think I stalled my game out, so go... <laughs> I was going to say, speaking <laughs> of a little bit of poop, there's a massive exchange in mid-fight right now. 
Uh, the entirety, I was going to say the entirety of the red team, you're like hiding, they're all hiding around that sort of central location of uh, the uh, the dispenser, is it like the 10th class in yeah. this game? This is a pretty classic strategy for this map of just dispenser behind the obelisk and then um, kind of just using that as your base of operations. Controlling, well, you know, yeah, it's not bathhouse. I still might end up calling it bathhouse a, a couple of times. Controlling bathhouse and uh, this ruins area on the side is super important. Right now, game pan takes a fat arrow to the head as blue team also just had polybrow um, croak out and uh, time out. So they <laughs> get nice, their ninth nice. player back in here. Uh, so we also have our first execution. Yeah, Demo Knight TF2. Uh, he's starting to shine. He's got one head right now. Oh, and he gets a second! I think they were both the same head. I think realistically there was a, a, a fake spy and a real spy. Uh, but it still counts as two. Yeah, in the eyes of Demo Jesus, it's all the same. It all adds up to more power for the almighty one. None yes. can be spared his <laughs> wrath. Uh, indeed. We have a solar, light is, a solar light is going to be the one to uh, keep an eye on, but right now he is kind of getting rebuffed. Finding that sandbags area, might be able to get another head. He takes an arrow and covered in the PP, but will be able to back up to ruins. And actually, actually hasn't been too bad from the blue team, even though they haven't been able to recapture the point yet. Yeah, red team's going to keep a hold of that there. I did see Vortex get a backstab on the heavy, but getting wiped out almost immediately after revealing his position. Uh, meaning there is no blues near enough to help push. There's a little fight going inside the not-so-bathhouse. Yeah, and much this, of is, a fight, though. this is really important to um, control, but it makes me a little bit nervous how blue team is positioned in here without an uber charge. Because Peter Scraps, um, the soldier, the heavy weapons guy, they're getting into position to maybe just kind of move through there and push everybody out. Um, blue team has backed up. I didn't really see how they died there, but losing the medic with um, you know 60-70% uber charge is not what you want to do on a Koth map. Day? Isn't that the name of a god? I would have thought that uh, Day would be immortal <laughs> and in in invincible, or at least invisible. I, I know that's his brother, Do. <laughs> day O Day. Uh, do -do. Well, Day, a Do, a dead medic, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, either way, he's got to pull something together to help his team out here. I think uh, Day a Do, a dead medic would be uh, the alternative <laughs> lines to that, uh, that famous musical, and uh, probably not uh, Disney friendly. Oh, uh, I think we've got a little pause there. Yeah, and, pause. Yeah, there's a bit of a pause. Uh, Polly Brow Cell hasn't returned quite yet. As well for Blue Team, so. Which is the Croakers, by the way. I'm, so, I'm anyway. glad. I'm glad for the pause, though. There was a lot of action going on there. Not a lot of commentary oh, yeah. on the action, though. Uh, <laughs> and, and I think I think we're sort of dropping the ball a little bit. But there's some real players, some some heartfelt moves going going out there. Uh, and we, we spoke uh, for a moment there about uh, the sheer audacity of uh, Demonite TF2. Um, uh, but I, I think I wanted to draw attention towards Mort, who was who was laying down the damage uh, like a madman. Yeah, what 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 Agro said. <laughs> <laughs> I've not got much of a response. You've actually covered that really well. Yeah, I mean, I think there's some other important players to point out as well. Nyan with the 12 points. I mean, you know, Sniper getting headshots, that, that helps the point count. But uh, Haspin on Huntsman, Huntsman. I think yeah, Huntsman that, gets more points, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, nonetheless, it's like controlling that uh, sandbox room. I mean, that is super important. And um, more points than the Medic, who's getting free points all the time. Um, and then also... Yeah. Yeah, also important to point out the uh, dominations. Joe has four dominations. Surduck has four dominations. So that just shows that even though their points, their score is a little bit low, they're staying alive, they're getting frags, and they're having a major impact for their team. Definitely, yeah. Oh, it looks like we are unpaused now. Cro Croker's uh, Polybrout has returned. Although he does have a magnificent 350 ping. Not sure how long that's going to last, I'm afraid. Yeah, that is lofty and... I mean, Scout's not the worst class to, to, to be a high ping person, um, you know, because that does sort of, sort of give you some odd advantages. Right now, Red Team doing a good job of rotating, you know, just bringing a little bit of pressure in Bathhouse and then rotating back over to pressure into Ruins. They've allowed their Spy to get in here as well. Versity, we'll see if he can get a, a stab, but actually Lank shuts that down. And uh, good work by Portal God, but Sir Doug actually comes through with that shotgun, not messing around. I've just realized we have Nyanzak behind Blue Team taking some pot shots of his Huntsman there. Just saw some arrows coming oh. from the right that were red, which was kind of odd, but he's just up on the balcony taking out the, helping take out the Medic Heavy combo at the bottom of the stairs on point there. 
Yeah, very strong round there by the Shining Sombreros. Certainly lit things up. I definitely. Fully agree on that one. Uh, hopefully blue team can hang in there and I think they are calling for a pause right now. This, yeah, this would be where the, the pause happened. We'll be first with three here on Lakeside, and then we will um, switch to the uh, other two teams that we have here playing on the same map. Um, I do like this per Lakeside, just kind of some small changes, like that sandbox room. Um, now it's actually the Shining Sombreros who were a, a play player down. Yeah, but there is a mini sentry for the Shining Sombreros on point. It is a bit low. So I'm trying to repair it a bit. I heard in the background a couple kills there. Looks like Pinecone has been wiped out trying to throw a sandwich at his medic. Yeah, that was a lot better though for uh, the blue team, the Croakers. Um, they're able to get some pressure out on the point. They've got their mini sentry out on the point now. Um, also, Solar Light going to be able to take out that dispenser. Mentioned that that's kind of crucial. So, just kind of a Ooh. better start to the round. Um, also, yeah, picking up a head there. Nice charge down on Mort. Going to be able to take out um, the uh, teleporter as well. Yeah, Blue's getting very crowded on midpoint at the moment. They're all sat around uh, waiting for this uh, this push, the inevitable push by the red team. A, a very strong red team up to this moment. Uh, it's been almost certainly let down. Vortex sneaking up behind the medic, gets the medic in the back uh, with his uh, knife of much killingness. Uh, and he is <laughs> going to be very pleased with that. He gets away with it as well. That's the that's the great part. That was very crowded and he managed to pull out of that one without dying. Yeah, there's uh, some good karate on the heavy weapons guy too. Yeah, the pull-out technique, it does work occasionally, uh, I guess that's... Not uh, all the time, though. I do not, do not take that advice it, it, to it heart. Is, it is not reliable. It is not a reliable technique. I have anything to go by. Uh, anyway, we have D that has an Uber ready on point for the Croakers. Uh, Blue team are still holding midpoint. There's a few reds. Uh, the Sing Sombreros in the bathhouse. Taking some pot yeah. shots. And uh, Solar like, actually on quite the spree now. He's uh, up to four heads. Gives him quite a significant health and oh, speed boost. Lord. Being up to buff, up to close to 300 health here. That's something to mess with. And also have Vortex coming through again. Get Sergeant Pinecone. At the same time, Yon and Versity go down. Oh, so Dave's pop from Demonite TF2. Oh, yeah, this is great opportunity oh, for him. Like. He's got that fifth uh, head. So huge. J oh, no. You can't let him die here, though. Yeah, you have to keep him alive. Have to keep that buff rolling. He is able to escape. Oh, thank God. What would we do without him, eh? That's, that's what too, would we do too terrifying to even think of. Uh, uh, Where will game? I get my demo night content? I'm watching, uh, watching Versity. I, he's trying to be sneaky, but I think that there's there's too little going on around mid for him to be having a, a really good attempt at getting a, a backstab in. Uh, Nian dropping them all like they are hot uh, with his arrows of much uh, damageness. Oh, Benny great. just took out the heavy medic combo there. Nicely done. Yeah, great rotation by Lank there. I'm getting a lot of damage done. And uh, seems like Red will be able to kind of persevere afterwards, though. Get that capture. We'll see if they'll be able to establish them themselves for a longer period of time. Croker's playing very well this round, though. All it takes is one class to be really super effective with something like a, a soldier or demo who can really do some amazing damage. Uh, and we've seen it turn all around. Vortex gets in with a backstab uh, up against Vortex. Vortex is absolutely wrecking havoc there. He is a dangerous fella. Oh. The fact that he's getting away and no one's taking him out as well, that's, they've got to watch their backs. A thousand percent, otherwise Vortex is going to be there right around that corner. I yeah. warned them before we started, Vortex is the one to watch. Uh, he's really good. Uh, gets lit up by the pyro there. So uh, pyro doing their job against uh, against the mortal enemy spy. Yeah, and the Croker is doing a good job of controlling the uh, sandbox. And uh, Solar Light with that charge in, actually also able to be able to rotate out, get to the bottle. So it turns out to just be a really good distraction play as this Uber charge comes in here, being used on the heavy weapons guy. Um, Peter Scraps has been able to get out. Blank is behind him, has the melee oh, out. Oh. Uh, it's actually going to be short with the snipe there to get the finish there. Mort very low as well behind the obelisk. And just with this red team in a lot of trouble here. Point has gone back to blue. And uh, Croker's in solid control with a minute lead here. Yeah, I want to say, I think I, I think uh, simultaneously ooze from uh, uh, from the servers there while, <laughs> while you were declaring Peter's escape was because Peter just got shot. Almost as yeah. soon as you said it, the, uh, yeah. the, the cast curse. Oh, Classic. No. Uh, Red, uh, Shining Sombrero seems to be a player down again. 
Yeah, N Neon has been uh, in and out here. Um, the uh, Solar Lake charging again, and a great combo gets Sergeant Pinecone. There must have been some other damage in there as well. And with that oh, yeah. shield, Solar Lake just bouncing off of some of these rockets being shot on the charge out. Gets a little bit slipped up on the ramp. That's not typical of him. No, you no, see that no, full slide. Yeah, there's a, oh, a he's few all the way back. There were shouts from chats to uh, to Day to do the thing. Uh, I'm not sure what that thing was that he was supposed to be doing. Come on, perhaps, Day, do the thing. Perhaps, perhaps doing the washing up since Day was dead at the time. <laughs> yeah, Chloe, Chloe Mew had a good uh, push in from behind. Uh, as Pyro, but really in that ambush, only really able Press to take it. down the engineer. Oh, medic. Yeah. Day's doing nothing right now. Day is back, uh, parking his car in the garage because he's got nothing else to do during this game time. He is dead. And there's another pause. I'd like to take this moment to say that if you like the demo night action, there will be a demo comp. What is it called? Night comp? Night comp. Uh, night comp will be happening. Uh, I think that's happening today as well, actually. Yeah, after the second game of this... Uh, we will be having some night comp with some other wonderful hosts. So uh, you got that to look forward to. But the game is back underway. The team are trying to make a push. However, it doesn't look like they're making too much of a push. Yeah. Might have to have to get out of there. Oh. Yeah, once you have that dispenser behind the point, uh, that really kind of helps open things up. Benny's been on a fat spree, but he's just going to taunt over on the side. Oh, and he gets another kill. Dink was like trying to get Uber saws off him, trying to get a free Uber. It's juggled in the air and destroyed. It got played like a fool. On camera. Yeah. Played like a fiddle. How do you play a fiddle? <laughs> your, your parents never had that conversation with you, right? Nah, uh, I got told not to. <laughs> yeah, you guys stick to bagpipes then, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I had to have that constant droning in here. <laughs> Just give it a little squeeze and a blow, that's how it works, right? Oh, Don't yep, that's it. With that pipe. <laughs> that's it. But that's another point for Shining Sombreros as they hold that point for the timer to run out there. What do you guys think of that one? Do, do you think they're going to gonna pull it back? Still trying to think about the bagpipes being squeezed and blown, but that's, uh, that's just going to be stuck in my head right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, Croakers um, did a better job on that point. Um, better strategies. Uh, also, you know, Neon kind of getting bounced in and out helps out a little bit. Um, this time, though, they're standing around a little bit more awkwardly. Yeah, this was this was the pause before, but still taking a little bit of time to get back together. Vortex, one, two, three, coming around for a stab. Ooh, Versi got found out while so, sneaking around. Yeah. yeah Versi was trying to get be sneaky there, but he got found out by Lank and absolutely burned to a crisp. Just how I like my spies. <laughs> However, Sergeant Pinecone just got a three kill there in the bathhouse. Yeah, that I think helps I'm gonna say bathhouse is is not normally a, a, a location for this much of horror. Ho -ho. I think I yeah. think it's just because there's there's no water, there's no there's no hazard, there's no slow down environment. It's now just a great big killing block. It it is the cage. It is the uh, the rage it, it, cage. The rage cage. The rage. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what is it? The stone. Oh, oh, that's stony. Oh, 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 oh. My God, Versity takes down <laughs> the day once again. Versity is. Oh, you cannot fall! Oh, is he going to get away? Oh, Sir Duck just losing the trail on him there. Ouch. Yeah. These, these spies are so ridiculously effective. I think that the, the, the field is just an uh, uncoordinated push. Uh, and and if, you're, if you're not coordinated as a team, if you're not really sort of playing together and you don't know exactly where everybody is, then the spies get to wreak havoc under those circumstances. That's what we're seeing right now. Definitely fully agree on that one. You have to call out the spies as soon as possible. Yeah, the spies have been running pretty rampant, but the thing is, is that the uh, Sombreros have just been able to kind of work everything else into the package that they need uh, to go along with the work of the spy. Oh, mm, Peter yeah. Scrap's getting a saw kill wow. on Shork there in the corner. Oh, yeah, free 25%. And I mean, that gives uh, Peter Scrap's supercharged advantage. Uh, already, oh, they've already yeah, worked. Just launched the engineer across the map. <laughs> yeah, it that helps, but he he needs to do more. He needs to do more. Oh, oh. oh Vortex just brushed against Peter Scraps there. Peter Scraps, no. Vortex is going around through bathhouse. He's sneaky. invisible. He's sneaky. He's behind Sir Duck. What's he doing? What's his plan? He's going for it. He sees his prey. He misses. He's worth <laughs> it. He burns uh. it anyway. It's fine. You're Still counts. Runs, Still runs counts. into the flamethrower. 
So it's all a special <laughs> secret tactique uh, from which uh, he will emerge victorious, I'm sure. Yeah, and Solar Light uh, trying to do some um, charging around the, the point, but he just doesn't have any support with him. It's hard to really kind of establish their presence here. I think everybody knows that they, they, they can't sort of ignore him. Mm. Um, I think that he is going to be targeted throughout the entirety of this. Uh, this is definitely not going to be his, uh, his, his playground anymore. Yeah, and I mean, with, with Highlander, you only got one of each class, so it, it's impossible to run a Sticky Launcher and a Demo Knight at the same time. Um, oh, and, uh, you know, not having a Sticky Launcher is a, a big sacrifice. Yeah, but it looks like we're drawing to the end of oh. this match. Oh, we have Demo Knight uh, down at the lead a little bit. A little push from Medic and NG. Yeah. However, they were sort of caught off guard there. You know, yeah. You, you gotta you gotta pin the uh, loss on the on the team captain. You know you gotta get that uh, strategies going. I don't I don't think that was necessarily solar light. You know he did what he could. Vortex did what they could, but overall it just seemed like they're it getting outplayed on the uh, yeah the the cough mechanics of build an uber charge push point control point. You know both teams did pretty well for what they had, but again like you said, if they weren't working together, they were going to get absolutely stomped. They were all doing what they did best in the Croakers. However, they weren't doing it together. And that yeah. is ultimately probably where they fell apart. Yeah, you know, it's, cough maps just kind of have a, a particular rhythm uh, as well. You know, we will see some other maps um, in this kind of Highlander show match uh, section of this charity event. Um, but this first round is a uh, cough. It's good to see, you know, one of everything. We will see some payload. We'll see a little bit of 5 CP. Uh, cough to me is the one that's almost feels the hardest with like a pickup team I, you know i think we can all agree at least we're not com com commentating on a ctf map i don't know let's bring out the turbine the double cross <laughs> <laughs> let's go uh, cop, cop. <laughs> yeah i mean you know we could uh get into plenty of discussions about uh formats but we'd, we'd rather maybe chat with some players here get some interviews and uh, of course also talk about the wonderful charity that we're uh, supporting this weekend What's up? <laughs> this yeah. guy. Mm. Uh, we have joining us uh, Day and Polybrow. How's hey, what's going gamers? on? Um, so we got stomped. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. What, what, what makes you think <laughs> that you got stomped? Oh, and I got to eat by my pizza. <laughs> okay, I'm going to eat my ice cream while I wait for an answer then. <laughs> no, um, I think, I think it was because, um, we uh we didn't we didn't we didn't train up for this we didn't we didn't like uh uh like like train train for it just we we, we wanted to just do this for fun and also the ping I uh, apologies i'm getting food ordered for me i'll, I'll be a moment yeah but yeah <laughs> so ping yeah no ping blame on the ping what's mm. uh how is it like playing scout with a ping of four billion oh holly <laughs> And polybrow? Yeah, polybrow, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I've got the important stuff out of the way. I've got my food ordered. So uh, what did you think about the, the opponents, uh, Day? Okay, the opponents. Hmm, I'm trying to think of any. Oh, yeah. Peter just could not be killed, for one, from my yeah, point of, of course view. Not. He was just always there. Um, <laughs> and Clearly I was absolutely. <laughs> and I was absolutely terrified of Versity the whole time. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure the other team was terrified of Vortex. He was getting some decent picks there. Like, honestly, honestly running through, backstabbing, and getting away with it half the time. Completely threw them off. I gotta, I gotta give it to him. He, he's gotten, like, really good over, over the, this last year. Oh, I know him gives him credit for it. Uh, what about Polly... Oh, never mind. Uh, what... <laughs> I think we'll read out some donations now. Uh, Agro, would you like to take part in that, or...? I would love to. I can think of nothing better oh, to do with my time right now. Let me, let me, I'm so glad. I, I, I'm, I'm glad to. And to be honest, I perfectly I want to stress this absolutely clearly. Uh, like the reason why we're doing this is for the donations. Is is for um, uh, special effect. Uh, we, we, we love doing the Highlander. We love doing the casting. We love talking to the into the microphone. But without the, without the donations, it is all for naught. So um, first of all, I want to give a quick shout out to, to all of those people who have donated over the course of like the announcement of this event, like uh, up to a month or so ago. Um, the first first person, literally with the with the message first, uh, was uh, Shock. 
uh, who donated three quid. Um, thank you very much. Ah, That's piss boy. R- p- piss boy? He has uh, a collector's gerati that he is very proud of, so I call him piss boy. Right, fair enough. Well, and I want sure. everyone to know that and target him in the That's- next match. Well, okay, fair enough. Uh, possibly with their piss, um, whether or yes. not they're playing sniper. Yes. Uh, Chedzi uh, also dropped in the the, the classic of four twenty. I believe in this charity. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Flimb. Um, enjoy these coins, and then Catface C ten uh, English pounds. Uh, bite me ASCII. Tested a mod with two pounds. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that a few <laughs> times. You can skip those. Okay. I've done it right. about four times, I think. Uh, uh, testing again, and a final beginner test also from Bite Me Asky, so congratulations. Yep. Right, sir, uh, on to the real donations here from Foggy. Uh, I might be busy or away when the uh, event's on, but have some money. Yay! Um, I'll watch out for the MVM segment, uh, either live or later, so don't go spending it all on jump height. Uh, that's mm. uh, £10. Thank you very much, Foggy. Uh, from Harry uh, Rezen. Yeah, Harry Rezen. Uh, really? That's okay, that's the one. Uh, yeah. Seeing as I won't be on during the time of the stream itself, I should note now, keeping up the good work and the good fights. A blessed, blessed of luck. Best of luck uh, to everyone who's involved. Thank you very much, Harry blessed Rezen. Blessed and best. Uh, we've got a Cerny here uh, who donates 30 euros uh, with the, the comments just on its own. No other comments. Demonite TF2. So I guess, can we get some Donut TF2s in chat for, for, for Cerny? Um, right, uh, <laughs> Jess, <laughs> I forget that, I regret that immediately. Yeah, Jess, it's gonna be a lot. Doomgirl, uh, not been too active in the Discord, uh, but hog darn it, um, if I want to be more keep it cool day. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, and the 3.2 <laughs> euros for that. 3.2 euros, who says that? Nobody says that, it's just me. Um, or a guy, TF2 connect. <laughs> Uh, or TF Connect, my apologies. I'd have to rate this event uh, like a 2 out of 10 because of the lack of pans. Wow. Uh, I had... Right, mm. that's something to look forward to. So I guess you're going to have to ump your score and hopefully ump your donation as well. Oh, my God, thanks very much for the $25. And now the real, the huge and the massive donation of $100 uh, from Portal underscore God. Uh, we saw him playing there, and uh, yes, can f- confirm is heavy is God. Uh, can I have meme roll? I I, I don't know. Is is that uh, is that a vegan? Uh, uh, no, it's it's got gluten in it. I'm afraid. Oh, that's a, such a shame. Um, right, and and one here from uh, someone called Agro Chris Cast for the Yow. I I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of him. Yow. Awesome. We've we've owned the Yow. Thank you very much. <laughs> for- all right. Any more that you want to read? There's, there's definitely more there. Are there more there? I think yeah. I need to do a refresh or something to Ooh, find them. Oh, nice. There's quite a few more there. Wow, you're all right. There are more, and yes. I can't see them. Oh, hold on. I'll see if I can bring them up, and I'll finish reading the last four, I think, five? Please yeah, four. Uh, Bebe66 has donated five British pounds. I donate to cool people. Also, Shark TF2 is very cool. All caps. That's why I said it louder. Uh, Old Tacky has donated fifty dollars. Just doing a good deed for today. You guys are doing a good thing. Good luck to all the teams today. Thank you very much. Uh, Rocky forty two has donated one hundred dollars. Wow. Think B. I'm, I'm guessing it's a Minecraft donation then. Uh, yeah. Reposh. Has donated twenty five dollars as well. There's no message next to it. I also want to point out before we cut away to any uh, videos or such, uh, we have hit one of the incentives which the casters, including myself, have to do an impression of one of the mercs in TF two. So uh, I'll let you guys go first. Have fun. <laughs> I lost. I lost my tab that had my voice lines. <laughs> <laughs> you all suck. <laughs> oh god! Go. <laughs> That's as good as you're gonna get from me as well. So I got that that absolutely uh, spot on pyro impression. I think I looked at all the voice lines and I was like, oh yeah, I remember all those. And then and then now I just totally right, blanked on them. Yeah, yeah. I was. Well, uh, oh, yeah. I think it's I broke your one. stupid crap, moron. 
<laughs> yeah, that was a lot of That was, was, that was, was nice. Give me more run. <laughs> Oh, God. Say goodbye to your no- uh, kneecaps, chucklehead. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, it's always who I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on. We just got another donation. Uh, $10 from The Great Paul. Ooh. Stay Ooh. awesome. Thank Way you to go, much. Pally. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to glue you back together in uh, hell. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and nice. That's all you're getting from me. You're all losers. All right, I think we're gonna cut away to a video now uh, for special effects, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that is correct, as the little angel on my shoulder is telling me. Wait, you got an angel? Ah, uh, it's more of a devil, really. I just got a pyro. <laughs> I just got a pyro. I see a psychiatrist by that. But anyway, guys, we're gonna cut away for now. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, the video is very important. It's who we are supporting, which is special effect. Thank you very much.